Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial. Uh, so today we're back on the NPC tutorial um, and if you remember in the last video we did have a little bit of a glitch. Um, unfortunately I've not been, um, uh, not been able to fix it so for the time being we're just going to have to put up with it unless we kind of find a, a cure as it was. Um, however, what we will be doing in this video is um, making it so that when we actually drag this over into here, you know, it doesn't just disappear all of, uh, right away. It's only when we press there that it disappears. Um, so, first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to go into our selling NPC. Uh, and not actually in our selling NPC. <laughs> I think it's in our player or stats. There we go. Uh, so what we want is another stat. Actually, we'll just get rid of that. So it'll be global dot pot gold, which is going to stand for potential gold. Um, and then what we're going to do is go to our uh, from the selling NPC, actually, it'd be our inventory, won't it? Um, and on left release, we're going to add to the potential gold of that, and what does this do? Um, <laughs> hmm. Also, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make a, uh, by the looks of it, DS grid, which makes it even harder. So in the inventory, in the create event, better make another DS grid. <laughs> So this is going to be the. Well, actually, does it have to be a grid? Um, no, actually, it can be a list. So it'd be a DS list. Um, so what we need is we need to make. We need to create a DS list for the items being sold. So all this is going to do is it's going to store the list of items that we've dropped into that little box. Um, so it's going to be uh, pot list uh, list equals ds list create. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, DS list clear pot list. I'm not quite sure if you have to do this with DS lists. I haven't used them very often, but that'll do it anyway. Um, so now what we need to do is go into our uh, whoops, not our selling NPC. I keep thinking it's our selling NPC. It's not. Um, so when we drop in the item. We're adding to the potential gold, but we're also wanting to, oops, do ds list add pot list global dot last item. So what this is going to do is it's going to add every single item that we sell to this list. Um, but instead of actually giving it straight to our gold, it's going to add it to our potential gold. So what it's doing is it's creating a list of the items that we're going to sell, and then from that list, it's calculating how much money you'd get. Okay, so it's starting to build up a bit here. Um, so now we actually want to put this into motion. So S means when we go into our selling NPC, our step choosing the options. 
uh, if selected option equals option one if option one equals yes I accept the quest so we want to say is it option two Oops. and if option two equals so let's just um, change this to option three um, now this one it will be what should we have it sell all items so if we've clicked on the button saying sell all items what are we gonna do well we are going to go global dot pop gold plus equals global dot gold so all this is going to do is add our potential gold to our gold and it's going to say we're going to now do object inventory dot pot list and we're going to say ds list clear so we're going to then clear our list because we've all been sold <laughs> however um, we're going to put another thing here so else if selected option equals option one option one equals go back a step uh, so if it equals go back a step then what we're going to do well we're going to set global dot pop gold back to zero and here comes the tricky bit um, because now we're going to need a for loop so this is going to be for var i equals zero i is bigger than object sorry I'm going really slow today um, inventory pot list we need a disk list what is it length or something let's see DS grid size uh, I plus plus basically we're going to scroll through every single slot of our DS list um, and then it's going to say script inventory pickup item ds object inventory dot pot list uh, can we do that on lists wait let's see oh yeah apparently we can uh, so this will be i so what we're doing is we're accessing the list we're scrolling through every single one and then adding it back to our inventory. So now, fingers crossed, this should work. I think, unless I've missed something out. By the way, guys, I do apologise if I sound a bit croaky. I've got a bit of a cold. Um, that's why I keep having a drink and stuff. Um, so, anyway, back to this. Hopefully, this should work. Uh, fingers crossed. Over. Oh no, dear. Um, object selling NPC step incorrect number of arguments for accessor oh, okay so apparently what we did there wasn't right um, I'm not actually sure how you access uh, DS list maybe there's a function for it Wait, let me see DS list oops that's lit <laughs> DS list Find our find value be what we want. So if we go that ID I and then 
Oh wait, no, that's is that right? I've put that the wrong way. Yeah, I've put that the wrong way around. Um. So guys, just like that, all we're doing is we're saying uh, if the option equals option two, which is sell all items, we're gonna add our potential gold to our normal gold and then clear the list of potential items to sell. Otherwise, we're gonna go back a step and we're gonna set the potential gold back to zero and add one by one each item that we've sold back to our inventory. So now, fingers crossed, this should work if we've used all the accesses and everything right. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> so, let's see if this works. No errors so far. Yep, that's uh, seems to get past the first stage. So let's add some items really quickly. So if we uh, drop that in there, yeah, we haven't actually got anything extra. So what if we go back a step? Go back, go back a step. You already have this quest, right? So quite clearly, there is something rather big going wrong here, because now neither of them are working. Um, so I think it would probably be to do with uh, this so just looking at it is there anything that could be going wrong for a start what's worrying is it came up with a message saying you already have this quest um, which as you can see isn't actually being told anywhere here to be put down so, I'm possibly wondering if the NPC is actually drawing itself instead. Is it in, is it in there? <laughs> yeah, it would be the script ad quest, won't it? <coughs> yeah, show message, you already have this quest, which is just great because that means something else has gone wrong. <laughs> so... Really quickly, actually, let's just. That is definitely the selling NPC. That's definitely that NPC. Uh, unfortunately, guys, we're going to have to end it there. Um, I promise I will get this fixed for next time because otherwise we can't actually get it done. Um, and it's quite a big part. Unlike the other one where I kind of said, you know, it's not really a big deal. It doesn't really need to be drag and drop. It just creates complications. This does need to be fixed, and I will promise. Um, that I will get that fixed but for now guys um, that's gonna have to be it uh, if you enjoyed this video remember to like subscribe um, and I will talk to you later